I won't be upset if Ben White wins it because we do have 75 bucks on him. But I know you'll be a little bit happy if you see some big suck out. But anyways, wow. it's two jacks jamming. Standard player. <laughs> <laughs> from exactly. outside the box Gerard with an absolute screamer man this man is not afraid we were just talking about ICM obviously Jax is amazing don't get me wrong and that's... Yeah. actually I have it on my well, 366 it's 366 I pulled it up sorry so it's a six and a half buy in pay jump it's a big one Ben Ward's got a chip lead six five of diamonds we don't know if he's like kind of a crazy kind of player and just does something I don't think we really need to jam ace for suited two hands in. Uh, you know that if you call, there's going to be a lot of bad flops, and there is a good chance you'll lose some chips. But And then two hands in, you're busting with ace four suited. This is where it becomes a bit tricky, right? Because if you flop a pair, they say you have to continue, but it's bottom pair. Okay, he does continue. I would have preferred to see him continue if that seven was like the seven of clubs or if it was a queen of clubs. No, I don't think I could fold this bottom pair ever. The reason okay. is it's too often the best hand. People just fire C bets so often on flop for tiny bets. Plus, um, if you hit a four, it's very disguised. But if you hit an ace, it's a good card for your uh, opponent to bear on. And obviously, you've got the top two. So I just, I would never fold this. On the turn, though, I feel like I probably have to get away. It looks like I'm getting milked a little bit. He makes the call. and well, Gomez is the guy he called off against Ben Ward of the two sixes, if I recall correctly. So he, he's not yes. afraid. But, yeah, uh, but that wrong. was on the flop. That was on the flop, right? That's a bit different than like somebody who's betting all three streets. It goes check, check on the river. And Thomas Mulliker is off to a good start as he wins a pot of 4.5 million chips. That's good news for all the people who put some money on him. You said he was probably one of the better guys to put some money on. Well, solid start for him. Two sixes. I think in this spot, the standard is the fold. I know they're playing... Want to have too big of a flatting range at such a big final table because the pay jumps are, are big. You kind of just want to stay out of the way and be aggressive when you can. PLA, right? Because he's got, he's got a lot of draws he's up against, but he's got two overs too, so it's like really confusing. I agree. The only way that I think Pilai wins his hand if it goes like check, check, oh, check. Well, that is not the worst card, obviously. Seven of diamonds shouldn't change that much. Even though we know that maybe betting is better because he's technically ahead, but how do you bet eights here? Now, that's a good run out. Um, it's it's going to be a tough spot for Pilai, assuming uh, Yankov here does bet the river. I believe he will. I don't think he thinks Jack-10 is ever good. He's just trying to figure out what size to use. Would my opponent bet, bet a queen again on the, on the wow. turn? Wow. Um, he's up against... Is, does, he, does his opponent have a draw? Does he have a queen? He oh. does make a fold. Ouch. He's doing exactly that. Um, you can see, normally Ben Ward would take position on, on the German guy, right? It's kind of like the best of both worlds. Now you get position on a strong player and you still get position on the German that was in second. So the, I like Ben Ward's seat selection. Uh, at the very end, he decided to take the... Alex Colonius is going to open things up with King-10 offsuit. Not the hottest start yet for Alex Colonius as he lost a couple hands. Oh. And look at Gerard. This man has absolutely no fear. Nananoko, three betting with ace-7 offsuit. Oftentimes I say the real name players that are, you know, obviously the big pros, right? But these guys, they're sick crushers. Wow. This ace-7 play is a very bold play, but I like it a lot. It's these guys, they they all know what the, they're doing. Like, there, there's no weak spots. This is a uh, we saw like three or four guys satellite in today, but they all really know what they're doing. If I would have known that he was such a gangster, calling off with queen high and being right, and then also three betting a seven offsuit on the button against the chip leader, as Weizen is in a bit of trouble here. I hope he doesn't think that Thomas Mulliker is making a play on him. Because we know that's not the case. More chips heading into the way of the Austrian. But Girard is looking really good so far. A lot of impressive plays. Yankov uh, did pretty, been doing pretty good too. I haven't seen anything from our second place guy in White then, right? Like he's just kind of been chilling. Really yeah, so but you, you finished your story at the right time. It was it was like perfect. Like, oh, now there's a bet out there. And then he makes the call back. No, queen a nine. different queen three. One of the hands that uh, we had in our Another pre queen three. Okay. So yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> he was watching the pre-show with us, saw he made that good call queen three, and then when he saw the queen three again, something was like, I 
I've got a call. It's also a blind versus blind spot. I'm also in the big blind. And well, Javier Gomez has a pretty sweet hand here as he open and the straight draw, and of course the center fair. And on top of that, I think this board. I am very interested to hear about your pointless <laughs> things, Nana. All right, well, let's talk about this hand then. Ace King offsuit for Whites, and this is obviously a hand he's going to open things up with. Yeah, so in this spot, uh, normally I think it's a three better fold spot. Um, let's say he will make the call. I mean, it makes sense that he doesn't want to blow pots. It's just because of Ooh, oh, fireworks, God. as obviously because of the call, the pocket fives, they had to call too. And then you still have Ace King that's probably going to keep betting. Nana Noko, this spot, this is the biggest spot of the night. We'll just put his opponent on like a set or, or nothing. Uh, this is going to be a tough spot, man. It's too much on the line. I'm, I'm just going to be like, I'm on for it. Wow, he just oh. calls. I mean, the big blind can have anything here, right? Could also be hands like eight, nine of diamonds, stuff like that, where it's like, okay, they flop a pretty big draw, but they don't really have anything yet, so they don't want to get out of line. Imagine an ace on the river. The blood there will be. Oh that my is God. such a big bet. Oh my goodness. What is that? 60% pot almost? I've had this uh, conversation with myself so many times where it's like, if I'm thinking of folding here, why the hell did I play it in the first place? But how do you fold a check on this board? You can't. The only reason he might oh, fold, yeah. Slam like dunk it. all in for pocket fives. Come on. You take some time. He's got to think he's got to call it off, right? Like, you see this guy taking a long time. It seems like a tough decision. A lot of guys would have jammed a set already. We know that. Mm -hmm. This is... He calls. He again. I don't know why he did that. I really I don't, don't, like don't that, know actually. why. You can force two diamonds. I, I don't know. That's a mistake, Roddy. Because too often someone has like two overs and two diamonds, kind of like ace, mm -hmm. king, and diamonds. No, I'm with you. And now it goes check, check, check. So Yankov never has the difficult decision that we were talking about before. Pillai still wins a monster pot. And quite the hand has now Pillar actually picks up ace, queen suited. Well, we have an ace, nine suited, and another ace, nine suited. And then even Weizen in the big blind with jack, ten offset. Could be a fun one. Could also just be open three. Well, he just calls, so he just flats the ace queen suit. Well, I'm not surprised once I saw him smooth call those two fives now in the river because I want to know what Saquon does here if the ace queen suited. I would like to see him make a call. An ace it's is suited. Fine too. Yeah. If it's un off suited, maybe maybe we find a tight nitty fold somewhere, right? But like suited, you better not fold this. You're the chip leader too. All right, there we go. There's the call. It's not a very good flop for him, though, because he probably doesn't put Shankar or Pillai on. Yeah, you know, he would do this with the same size and with a key. Wow. He gets the best That's hand big. to fold. That's nice. big, Nano. You're like 264 big blinds. What does it mean? Just take a look at the actual chip number you have, and you're like, okay, I've got 35, 35K chips right now, so I'm basically up three and a half buy-ins or three and a half times starting stack. I think that's useful information to keep in mind. I would say I like to have the chip stack when I'm really short. Because I can't do the math, but it's actually quite important to know whether you've got eight big blinds or 11 big blinds on uh, your jammy ranges. So that's one of the things I think about. But like if he gets jammed yeah. on here, I actually think he, do, he will just call. He's like, ah, oh, if my tens are beat, they're deep beat. This is it's a tough a... spot for Yarkov. And he's going to go yeah. for the check raise. And the funny thing is, he's going to get, he should get jammed on. Yep. I think now he he's will. in a dumb spot with the Jack Four of Hearts. You could, you... I think there are so many scary cards on the turn, Nano, if you call. Oh, he folds. He folds the pocket tens. I'm oh, sorry, Roddy. <laughs> With a good hand, it's just too good for you to play. Roddy, this this final table is getting me real salty right now. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. It's, it's crazy. Right. You're a fan of the game, but these guys are big, big crushers. I don't know, man. Okay, let's see this. This is interesting. Card, if Kate. not two over cards, and it is a massive call, but he does make the call, and look at that flop. Three, three, deuce. He's different. He understands, like, okay, maybe he's putting some pressure on me. Obviously, he's not going to fold this flop. He's going to no, call. No, it's impossible. Yeah, but I don't think that'd be the right play, unless he's just raising and is planning to fold. It's, a, it's an interesting play, but I don't think it's it's a common one. Tough this is a sick hand. Fire. This is a sick hand. Actually, it's making me a little bit tense just watching it unfold. Because I feel at this point, I feel like, yeah, oh. uh, I don't know if I... 
like at this point you feel like you're being taken to value town by kings of races where it's like all right he's betting one point something now he's betting 2.2 and then yeah. river he jams on me but oh thomas mulliger finds the jam what a hand then no, 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 uh, amazing like seriously this is a the i know wow. like you see the whole cards like it looks easy but that is amazing so play. The... this is what you love to see when you have ace in the big blind and you're like under the gun open yes like someone wants to raise it is yeah. aces roddy um but you you got to it just jams are oh, interesting I, I i don't know why he just jammed though like, like it maybe makes it look like he's got <laughs> fives or sixes or something i don't know no, no, I, th I don't know uh probably worried about a lot of these middling hands that were at the center of the board do we ever call here when we have 11 big blinds and we are yeah. Javier gomez yeah yeah you got to call with this and with this stack to pot ratio of 12 big ones it's very easy to play actually um surprisingly one of the harder flops to play uh but uh <laughs> <laughs> i know it's such such a contradiction but um you know if you flop top pair you just check raise all in or something or straight draws flush draws you mm -hmm. just check raise all in i mean you still have the backdoor clubs we know they're not good but he will probably think they're good from backdoor straights and he flopped second pair now it gets very difficult on this turn because if you not check and your opponent just bombs it, oh. The reason is I expect a queen to to check raise the flop with that stack raise a lot. Five, six, ace, five, and it's it's tough. And that's a wow. great call. Excellent. That that is a great call. But now I do wonder what the river will bring us. We expect Javier, the shortest man at this table, to check one more time. But then an eight nine of hearts is really likely. An eight ten of hearts. If the backdoor hearts actually hits the big blind a lot. Yep. Uh, yeah, Shankar Pilai's his his timing is Yeah. Well done by Javier though. Not an easy hand to play at all, but he made the correct decisions. He is now back to the exact same amount of chips that he started the final table with tonight. But he's about to most likely lose a few more. The man is steaming, Nanako. He was up he to steaming. 19 million chips. He was loving life when he had that set of fives. Could have maybe won a little more. He does make the correct fault here, so I'm kind of happy to see that. Because you don't really wish uh, anyone to just crash and burn all the way from chip leader into going out first. Uh, Sean Kai Pillai with ace nine against ace queen. Right. So he's won like a lot of medium, well, I wouldn't say medium, small to medium pots. I feel like Ben Ward hasn't had any easy spots like the other guys. He's kind of been getting a bunch of like marginal situations as our chip leader who who started the final table. Yeah, definitely. You know, like the the amateurs, they always say Ace Queen, man. So, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking at these two hands too, and I'm like, he's betting on the flop. It's gonna be hard for him to win this hand. All of a sudden, his hand looks quite all right. <laughs> Isn't gonna win this pot unless he bets. But now Ben Ward needs to bet if he wants oh, to. Oh, I meant to say was... it changes a lot. I, I, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I, I got it wrong. But I'm, I yeah. wanted to say he needs to bet. Yeah, okay. But he already needed to bet because he was behind. <laughs> yeah, he, he, this is a great fire from Ben Ward. Um, it's actually very hard for Colonius to call here with the Queen Jack. He mm. needs to think his opponent floated wow. him on a flop like sevens and is turning to a bluff. A great, great play. Free showdown sometimes is, is no longer ever good. So mm -hmm. you need to turn your hand into the bluff here and there. Well done. Alice Colonius will survive. King Jack offsuit versus King 10 offsuit. Gerard from outside of the box. <laughs> this is a flop where someone could go out potentially or lose yeah. half their stack. I mean, if you're Gerard here, you can't ever fold. Like that's impossible, right? uh there's only one overcard the ace so okay so you want to check raises. raise i i don't know but uh i think javier should just call here there's no point in, in uh in doing anything else but um yeah well he All is right. gonna bet one million chippies at this point, it becomes a bit scary for Javier gomez as well right because the big blind nanonarco could the big blind have a deuce <laughs> he can. He could have ace deuce. It pretty much that's it. And nice. Okay, for Javier though, he was like, the jack makes him feel a lot better in case he was up against a king queen, which is very mm -hmm. possible, right? Um, Gerard here, he needs to check. Uh, 
but not this big of a thing. I understand that he take. I, I I agree with everything you said. I do understand that Javier Gomez is taking his time here. Uh, I do believe he's gonna bet. No, he checks back. Oh, All right, I gotta man. go, Roddy. I gotta go take my break. <laughs> Ooh. Pocket nines for Alex Colonius. Pocket tens for Thomas Mulliker. Um, let's see. Colonius is the chip leader. Nah, he's not folding tens. Because the chip leader is more like Mulliker should. Let's see. How many big ones? Yeah, 40 big blinds. Yeah. Uh, if he makes it two, if he calls 2 million, Colonius might call like a 10 jack suited for 1.4 million more. But if I'm just saying, if Colonius jams here, I think Mulliker folds. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I mean, then it's too big, right? Then all of a sudden it becomes too much for tens. But, but do you really jam? It's, it's not. Like 50, yeah, yeah, you can't. Because what if Mulocker has aces? <laughs> you're just exactly. three off five million. Then uh, you'll be the new. Oh, that's the oh. nine. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so much. <laughs> that hurts so much. We need an ace and an ace only on the river. That's not an ace. And that means we will lose our first player. Gerard came in as a short stack. He made a very cool play early on where he called with Queen High and he was right. There's a big difference. <laughs> you got me. You got me. Alex likes getting involved. <laughs> he says, you know, a couple of hands ago, we didn't really talk about it, but I think he was raising Queen 3 suited from middle position. I was like, all right. Usually they do get involved a bit more. Uh, and, you know, earlier he only had 20 big blinds, but now he's in, in prime position with, with uh, Colonius and Ben Ward. These three guys are standing out for me right now. Ooh. This guy always drills these random yeah, ass yeah, cards. Yeah. <laughs> so that takes away one of the potential outs for Thomas Mulliker. Nananoka, you sound like one of my one two friends right now. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, his opponent, we got to think, would check raise the flop a lot with a set. His opponent might not even flat threes and fours pre flop, to be honest. He probably would three bet jacks. So he doesn't lose to that many hands besides a king jack suited. But the King Jacks, mm -hmm. yeah. Probably. Ooh, Ace eight against Ace three. I just, I kind of like to see them just take it down. I, I like doing it too, but I hate it. You know, when you jam there and you get snap called by Ace Queen yeah, yeah. and you're out. It doesn't play that well post flop. Oh, nice, brilliant. And now Ace three cannot do. Man, poor Sean Carpilai. His timing has indeed been wow. I was going to talk about why it's in because I feel like he hasn't done anything. It's 20. Then ace queen. Actually, I think we'll fold and ace king goes with it. It's funny. Oh, okay. Ooh. Colonius is going to three bet. Potentially actually, big folds coming. But I think it's going to be. Whoa. Two nines. That's the real question. What's the play? I think you fold, man. Like if you already fled nines. Yeah. Folds. This... Look. From an odds point of view, this is a slam dunk call because there's so many extra overlay, uh, five yeah, extra big blinds. Um, yeah. But the reason I would consider folding, wow. and he does, is White Zen has not played a hand since he blasted off of Ace King. Yankov's got a, it's got a little bit too much to just jam here if the two sixes. He opens folds. Open fold. It's a big fold, well, but uh, yeah. I do feel yeah. it's fold or jam though like that's mm. the same right because like Great. otherwise it just becomes really awkward you don't want to call it off so i think folding or jamming and he decides to fold well perfect timing on that one <laughs> uh yeah i agree with you roddy uh it's a big fold right because usually we see the die okay oh, who cares oh, oh oh who cares no, 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 who go. cares <laughs> ace king queens in the two biggest players at the final table these are the strongest players here and they are guaranteed to go to war. There's no chance it yep. does not get it in pre-flop. And the position, the positioning as well, right? Button, small blind. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. I don't know what the rest of the table folded, but I don't believe any aces are dead. But we do know that Javier Gomez is folding a king here. You ready for this, Roddy? I'm ready. I mean, it is, an, like, it is a big jam, but yeah, obviously it's ace-king. Yep, there we go. Ace-king gets it all in. Queens will obviously snap call. And this is an absolute monster pot. Thomas Mulek needs to hit an ace or a king. So far, he doesn't. Can the queens hold? It needs to be an ace or a queen now. Let's see what the river brings us. That's pain, but it cannot be a queen because it's his queen of spades. It's a jack of spades, and that means it's all over for Dom Thomas Mulecker. Wow. Nananoko. 29 million chips heading into the way of Van Wart. Classic setup. 
get a chance to win it. And Ben Ward's got two queens. My Again. pick is on fire, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ben Ward looking good. Alex Coloni is opening things up here under the gun with Ace Jack suited. Different than what we just had. So he just Ooh. flats with the queens. Hmm. Okay. The reason is. Okay, I mean, I think the reason is Alex Colonius has 27 <laughs> million chips. I think that's yes. the reason. This many chips against one and two, it's probably bad of two queens. Uh, right? He's always upon always has ace king plus. Yeah. So, and plus, look at the other stacks at the table. The 20, oh, absolutely. 25 big blinds, those are rejam stacks. So mm -hmm. they will rejam into your two queens and just die. And on top of that, Nananoko. How likely is it that they hold up twice? <laughs> I knew that you couldn't keep a straight face if I would say that. <laughs> how am I ever going to win it twice in a row? <laughs> well, that's how you become a legend, though. This spot obviously surprisingly small, but yeah, that's... I mean, how many big blinds are they playing? Uh, four, eight... Dan Ward is... I think he's... Six, my over 60, seat. right? 70, even. He's going to get it. He's going to knock out Yankov, isn't he? I feel like Yankov is going to jam the ace nine suited. It's 15 big blinds against the chip leader. Mm -hmm. I would actually think this is a slam dunk jam. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, okay. He folds. Nice fold. But uh, he's got 15 big blinds, a lot of fold equity, shortest stack. I think it would have been reasonable for him to read jam. Maybe he's like, you know what? If he is raising into the big blind of Alex Colonius, there's a good chance he actually has a strong hand. Too many. I know you say if you don't got a back. This is door, better than that nine deuce call. Oh wow, Whoa. he's raising. Is Wait, this Alex better? Colon <laughs> it's it's better as long as he continues telling the story, right? Because you can't just expect your opponent to fold immediately. Well, Ooh. there's the eight of hearts, but there is an ace of hearts on the side of Ben White. I didn't even realize that. Uh oh, no, 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 God, this is pretty sick. But the truth is. It's plays upon as a queen jack, no heart, or even with a heart, it's hard for him to call wow, again. Wow, that's such a big bet, Nanonoko. But this <laughs> Man, is a lot a of chips. It's 5.7 million chips, like you said, 14 big lines. It's, it's, you know, if he calls her and loses it, it's still a lot of chips to lose. Yeah. He makes the correct call, and honestly, Colonius, he's got to give up. There's yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. he can do here. Oh, wow. It would work. Oh, he checks. It would definitely <laughs> work. <laughs> All right. Now Ben White is wondering, like, hmm. Like, yeah. Because he has the ace of hearts. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny, man. Yeah. <laughs> ben White's like, whoo, got it through. It's like, mate, don't worry. You, you had this. <laughs> uh, we managed to get 20 million in the middle. <laughs> He's actually put himself in a little funny position now, right? He's out chipped two to one to the chip mm -hmm. leader. A lot of short stacks out there. But he's like, I've won 1.3 million before in WSPE main, so I don't want to win that again. The stack sizes are yeah. the difference that he stays to oh! dips it in. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but I do love it. He's like, you know what, you and I, we were even before, but we are no longer at the same playing field, mate. I've leveled up. And you need to preserve your stack. That is sick by Ben Ward. Absolutely brilliant play. It's like the only thing you can call them, aces, kings, maybe queens. <laughs> but even queens would be scary. Yeah. He, he's he's crushing now, right? Like he's been a little bit quiet early because he's been getting the tough spots. He hasn't had any no spots. But, oh, you haven't just... even finished your sentence yet. And he's blasting off strong dead on the turn. <laughs> like, I don't know how what you've done to require all this power that you have of cursing people. But you're not even done with your speech and he's already losing chips. We dodged the bullet, right? We're... Small bet is good. Your hand is, is too strong. You don't want to let your opponent get away with drawing. <laughs> Na Check, right. You are responsible for this, <laughs> Nananoko. It is you and you alone. For everyone in the chat right now that's like, wow, what is Ben Ward doing? It's not Ben Ward, guys. It's Nananoko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. Ben Ward. Did it? You know, in that the, the hand history where he bluffed off 9 7 off, so he's got the 9 4 blind versus blind. It's like a very similar board. Thank God he didn't go for it on this river card. Um, what size to use? Yeah. Um, 2.2? Two five. Smart. I like it. Makes sense. Like obviously you're always a bit scared because you like got a riggedy ace to fold, right? In the small blind. Alright. Puck No. We're not jamming pocket eights. Yeah, but he might fold. Open. Yeah, we are 
We are folding pocket eights, but we're no, not no. jamming it. We might be open folding eights. That, see, we are open yes. folding two eights, right? Yeah, what? Yeah, but I'm not even surprised, Nano. I expected that. Now, Krasimir Yankov is absolutely jamming ace king suited. Yeah, right now. Now that's a good question. I'll take a look for you. Obviously, next payout is going to. I think if it was suited, right. he would. I think if he was suited, I think he would send it. This is a standard jam normally. But you might be right. Oh, oh he fight jams. Because everyone's going to fold much more. We're seeing that right now, right? People are folding a lot. Ben Ward was the chip leader. Colonius. Would both of those guys actually have been going for it, right? I mean, in this way, obviously, the rich will just get richer. We're playing a lot of hands. Hey, Kings, a screen, Nananoko. We are going to lose someone, probably, most no, likely. We... Yeah. And I think it's going to be Wizen. What do you mean? He's got the two kings. You can't lose Wizen when he's got two kings. I've got a feeling, mate, there's going to be an ace. I think uh, I think kings are going to be bamboozled. There we go. Ace, queen suited versus kings. Can the kings hold? Well, that's a beautiful flop for pocket kings. That is a beautiful turn. We obviously don't lose a player if the kings hold. Is it an ace? No, that's not an ace. Well done. The kings do hold, so Wizen is back to 12 million. It's not much. What? I feel like we have been watching Benoit dominate this table for an hour straight. Uh, there we go. It's a pretty decent spot, I guess. One of the queens is dead, one of the sixes is dead too, though. But obviously, a six doesn't need to hit. I would like it for Krasimir. Let's see if he can stay with six or if we're going to lose one. It's a good flop. It's a very good turn. A three would be sad. Don't put a three out there. All right. A6 does hold. So he gets the double up. Nananoko, 11 big blinds and a dream. It is a little something. We are witnessing absolute domination of Ben Ward over the last 45 minutes. That is a, it's a big open for him. Uh, but uh, you know what? At this point, everyone knows he's playing so tight. Yet 7-3 student still sees a flop with him. He's uh, willing to take a post-flop. His lost his opponent is unpaired. Uh, wow, big bet. Normally, this is a slam dunk call, but one, he's up against Wizen. He's up against... Oh, my God. No, his Can hand we became lose... so big. What? We might lose Wizen? Is that possible? Is it? Yeah, I know. Check it. Yeah. You, you don't want to bust because of Shankar and Yankov mm -hmm. there. Normally, at least. <laughs> what is I normal mean, tonight, Nananoko? <laughs> yeah. No, he should be sizing big, though. An overpair is yeah. what he should be targeting because maybe his opponent's just playing tight with two kings or something. Fives and sevens? It's a tough um, call tough. to make with sevens, though. <laughs> if you, if you yeah, it jump. is tough. It is tough. But Colonius might be able to make it. I'm a very superstitious player, and no hand has caused more pain to me than pocket sevens. But nice. Alex Colonius is not afraid, and he will fully send it. And that's the last thing that Krasimir Yonkov wanted to see. But he will still make the call and at least receive the good news that he's flipping. He's not dominated. He's not behind. He's flipping. But he needs to hit a king or a jack. King or a jack on the river. Give us paint. Give us paint for a sweat. Oh, no, that's it. Man, that's brutal. You get it in with King Jack. Best case scenario, perhaps, right? Against a low pair. That's obviously big. The next page of the Nano, 120k. Yep, or at least let him get all his chips in before I have to get my chips in. Interesting limp from Ben Ward. We he's usually been jamming these hands. Yeah, almost like he's trapping because he's like jamming absolute trash and he's like, I've got a good hand here. <laughs> I'm really shocked he didn't. Raise pre flop though the king queen just seems like Gomez will always take a free flop, so seems like a little yeah. bit of a mistake. There are a lot of uh, straight draws possible. He bets a million basically. Uh, what if Ben White does raise here and he does <laughs> of clubs on that board? Very similar, he makes the call. I mean, I don't know, but check, check, snap, check, and snap, check. Yeah, yeah, I totally get that snap, check back. You just like, please tell me that nine four offset is good here. Blinds will go up again. Oh, if Alex Colonius fold, are we jamming? This would be the best spot ever to jam deuces, but yeah, you can't know that. Oh, and he does jam deuces. King deuces. It would be a, a bad call. <laughs> oh, he folds. 
If it's suited, would you call? King do suit. Not against, not against that player. That's all I can okay. say. Shankar Pillai is going to jam. Two nines going to go. And we're going to, we might lose. It, it usually loses. It <laughs> okay. usually does. <laughs> well, you just ruined my entire universe, Nenonoko. <laughs> Van Wyatt's probably like, hey, I was willing to call that off with King 10 suited, but fine. Deuces against nines it is. Is there a deuce? So far, there is not. There are hearts. Not anymore. It needs to be a deuce and a deuce only. Uh, ooh, we got close, but not close enough. The three of hearts doesn't change anything. And that means we are down to four. And Alex Colonius chips up to 35 million. And Wizen got his 120k pay jump. And now I think we can jam King H suited. Who gives yep. it them? I can get behind that one, but the tens. I feel tens is just so much more powerful than nines and eights and stuff, you know? Yeah, I agree. So, good game. What, what the emoji was that? It's a, it's a delayed one. Uh -oh. Quat, Queen gone. 10 against Jax. Queen 10 Slam against Jax, Nanonoko. That's, uh, this is that's going an in. all in and a call. Wow. Alex Colonia is now involved in another 14 million chip pot. Needs to find a queen. Does not get a queen on the flop. Oh. There's the queen on the turn, though. Well... That's a bit brutal, but the man did get all his pay jumps. No jack on the river. And this means all of a sudden we are down to three. And two of the three. It includes Rod. There's no chance. It's meant to be. We've, you've seen how this final table's played out. These two have been playing great. Colonius and Ben Ward. It just seems like they're destined to battle it out for, for the top spot. You're doing, anyway. this, to needle, you're doing <laughs> this to needle me. Come on. Because you know needling. there is a way. You, you know there is a it's way. It's possible, but it's yeah. unlikely. Yes, I agree with the part that it's unlikely, but when you say there is no way. Interesting. I think Colonius will bet um, if it's a little straight draw. Seems like a good play, actually. He might fire again, to be honest. It, it, he should. Yeah, it's interesting whether you should raise or, or call this hand. I, I do see it both ways. Obviously, raising sucks if your opponent makes a, re, a, a play back at you. Yeah. I, I like the raise, I think. I think it makes sense. Because there's three cards in a row, like... Player you know for sure is a really aggressive chip leader, right? Like, we put a Shemi on at the top or, or someone like mm -hmm. that. Oh, he done. does. Ace-Queen is slam dunk call. Well, Nana no call. Unless we find a jack here. Javier Gomez is... Oh, oh my goodness. We do find a jack. Can we find I an ace? I told you. I told and, you. An ace and an ace only is what Javier... This is so brutal. No, that's not an ace. It's over. Man, that's actually... I gotta say, that feels a bit sad. Like, that's... The man does not deserve that. Uh, he played a solid final table. Obviously, uh, an amazing payday for him. Walks away with $818,000. Well, what a brutal way to go. No, I mean, we mentioned it earlier. But yes, guys, both players are guaranteed at least $1 million. The winner walks away with $1.2 million. That has to be the biggest prize we've had so far at the High Roller Super Millions. Even bigger than some of the big events we had before. We had a 25K. We had High Roller Weeks. Yeah, this is uh, definitely the biggest one as far as I can remember. Yeah, it's either this one or the Connor Dryden one, but both of them are obviously huge pay jumps. Um, so a quarter million dollar pay jump right now is a huge one. Um, who's got the edge in this heads up? It's quite interesting because Ben Ward is normally a probably, a, wow, look at this queen, queen three play. It's a really bold. Yes. Uh, wow, and he ben, takes it down. Ben Ward still plays cash games to this day. I don't think I'm very excited, Roddy. I'm very excited to see that I picked I picked a winner in a long time. Let's hope it follows through. Slightly better for me. I rather lose money and see you be wrong than win that extra little bit and see you be right. <laughs> okay. Wow, so this, this could be a big hand. hand. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead. It's disguised. Lots of reasons to raise. I don't see why not. It's involved. But uh Colonius, can he fold? Nope. He oh, rivers the queen. he rivers the queen. It is some. Oh, I'm sad that he checked so quick, though. Like, it, it's pretty. Oh, I don't know. It'd be a big jump from 400. Um, I think it gives us an opportunity to talk about Limitless versus Fedor Holtz. It continues on the 10th of March, and then they will have one final session on uh, the 13th of March. At the moment, Fedor Holtz is leading by $52,000. I hope that we get some fireworks in the next two sessions. Will you be watching? With commentary by the one and only Joey Ingram, mate. 
What's funny though is that he was talking about the own uh, his podcast he did with uh, Limitless, not the most recent one where he basically called out Fedor and said he'd play him drunk, but the one he did a long time ago. And that's the one that I watched like three times. He lived in in Germany, or I'm like, damn it, Joey, I know your own podcast better than you do. <laughs> but he's probably thinking like, man, this was recorded five years ago. You know, who gives a damn where the boy played handball? <laughs> Being up 50k, he's only up two and a half buy-ins, correct? Yep, that is correct. Yeah, so it's not one of those Daniel Negreanu bloodbaths lose 10 buy-ins in one session, like th minus 300k. Because we do want to see some proper fireworks. It's been fun so far, but... but... He feels like he should fold. He's folded once already. But sometimes when you keep folding, you start to look at the call a little bit nice, and he does make the call. Bad news. I think... Yeah, I think this call completely makes sense, right? Because Ben White has more chips too, so he's a little more likely to try to steal oh, a couple Oh, this bots. could be it. This could be it, Roddy. 100% these will go in at some point. Yeah, he'll either jam or four bet call it off. Regardless, it, it's going in. I hope you're excited to call out some cards. Here All we right. go. Here we go, Here we guys. Go. Pocket Nines versus Ace King suited. If Ace King gets there, this tournament is all over. There's the Ace, which means we need a nine for Alex Colonius. Or Nana Noko has picked a winner. Is there a nine left in this deck? It's not a nine. It's not enough pips. GG, guys. Ace King holds after the flop. Ben Ward walks away with $1.2 million. And his Colonius finishes in second place with also over a million dollars. And that's going to do it for our 10 million guaranteed special edition of the High Roller Super Millions Week 39. Nana Noko. I think a pretty memorable one for a couple of the plays, especially in the first hour, right?